Good morning. It's uh, it's about four a.m. I think I've been up for an hour. <laughs> Got the half marathon this morning. Uh, not supposed to be at the start line until seven thirty. But uh, anyway, I got sick last night. Um, so I'm sitting here. I got my little cough drop. Um, it's like a cold slash feel like crap. Got my cup of coffee. So I got my little cough drops. One thing. Got my little chloroseptic. Let's see here. Mm. My throat hurts. Got some uh, ibuprofen. Got some uh, some of this stuff, which I didn't drink the whole thing, but it was left over. But uh, drank the bottom half. Got some Tylenol cold flu medicine. Got my tissues. And uh, so I didn't sleep very well. Yesterday, Ractival kind of fell through in the morning, so I just ended up doing some stretching. It wasn't really much to film or anything. Uh, my partner couldn't make it. So then yesterday afternoon, I started getting sick. I was thinking about exercising last night, uh, but then I also thought sick plus, you know, I've been working out 72 days. 73, 74, something like that, in a row. So, you know, there's a difference between being smart and kind of being stupid. <laughs> and so uh, I think some of these races that I do, you know, you're supposed to rest uh, your body a little bit. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and, since I was sick and racquetball fell through, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee too. Thought I'd rest the body, uh, see if I could kind of just go in a total rest mode, uh, see if I could salvage some of this uh, half marathon this morning. So anyway, I'm kind of sick, um, but I think I can get through the marathon or the half marathon. I remember there was this one time I ran a half marathon uh, near Boston. It was right outside of Boston. And uh, no, it was a full marathon. Yeah, it was a full marathon. And uh, I mean, I was sicker than a dog and it was sleeting and snowing and everything else. This half marathon, it was in between, it was in the four month training session, but it was halfway, right? So, you know, you're supposed to test yourself. And I was really like hardcore into the marathon training for the Boston Marathon. And so I ran a half marathon about the two month mark into the four month, you know, two months prior to the Boston Marathon. And uh, so it was like February in uh, New England. February in New England is <laughs> pretty harsh. So it was like snowing and sleeting. And I mean, I was sicker than a dog, but uh, the drive was like an hour and a half away from where I was. Uh, it was kind of out in the country a little bit. So I drove out there sicker than a dog thinking, okay, you know, my intention was not to run, but just to get to the race and, and then evaluate once I got there. So when I got there to the race, you know, like I said, everybody's freezing their butts off, and, you know, I had a cold and uh, flu and just felt like crap. Uh, and it ended up, like, I, I decided, you know what, I, so I got, you know, I was all geared up and everything, start line. I thought, well, I'll just at least just start with everybody. And it just kind of, like, all these decision points kept coming, you know. It was like, okay, this mile, this mile, this mile, or, you know, okay, get in the car and drive there and, so I just kept overcoming all these decision points, um, and I ended up running the whole marathon. Uh, it ended up being one of the best times I, you know, recorded uh, for a marathon. So it was kind of one of those backwards things. Um, so anyway, this morning I kind of filled up with medicine last night, and this morning, <laughs> I, you know, the, hey, optimist, right? So you know, I get to watch the sunrise come up. I get my cup of coffee. And uh, I got rest yesterday, so I should be, like, body-wise, like, leg-wise, I should be, like, ready to spring forward. 
uh, for this half marathon this morning. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through all these decision points of, okay, let's just, you know, get to the start line and then let's, you know, let's just keep going. So uh, I think I'll be able to plow through it and then I'll have the rest of the day to rest. So that's the goal this morning is to get through this half marathon and uh, see what the day has for me. So we, we may or may not see you guys after the half marathon, but uh, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to keep drinking my cup of joe and uh, plow on some of this medicine and see if I can salvage this thing. So we'll see you guys after the half marathon. Well, it's morning time. And uh, I don't know, man. Um, you know how sometimes when you get sick, like the very beginning of it, you know, it's like, Oh, I got a little itch in my throat. You know, that was like yesterday, about noon time frame. And then it sort of hits like a, like a peak, you know, and you're like, okay, yeah, now I'm sick. And then it kind of peaks for like 24 hours. And then it kind of subsides after that. I think I'm like right at my, my peak right now. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, Anyway, I'm trying to sit here and, like, get motivated to, like, okay, let's push through this thing. But then I, on the other hand, I start thinking how comfortable it would be just to let my aching body and my sickness just kind of crawl back into bed. Um, and this is where you're supposed to be tough and, and push through. But, you know, I'm not a professional athlete here. If I'm sick. I'm sick. This is horrible timing this half marathon being this morning so I think my decision tree you know who knows maybe I'll jump in the shower and try to like get motivated or something but my decision tree is shortening uh, because the marathon starts at 730 it's uh, 615 right now I want to do this thing. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do it, like very soon. Uh, I guess I'll let you guys go and see if I can either uh, crawl back into bed or do this thing. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see you guys. All right. It's uh, 6:45. And well, I see the the road blocked off down there. Uh, I kind of got lucky with this marathon or half marathon because it's the start line is kind of by where I live, which is convenient. And uh, I was sitting down and I was ready to be sick and curl up in bed. And uh, and I start I actually talked myself into it. I I started thinking of the decision tree and I was like, okay. And I was like this far away from ordering McDonald's. <laughs> Give me that Egg McMuffin. Give me that big breakfast. Mm, it's so good. Mm, mm, it's so good. And uh, I thought, you know what? Let me just take a shower. Let me take a shower and see if I can wake up, listen to some music. Uh, so that's what I did. Now I'm here. So I've got my bib on. I've got my shoes on. I've got my little running headband. Uh, like I'm ready to, you know, look like I'm ready to run or something. And I do feel a little bit better now that I've had, and you know, the sun helps too. Like just makes you feel awake, like the morning. So <laughs> I don't, I think what I'm gonna do, it's really windy too, which I hate running in the wind, it's 13 miles. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna at least start walking towards the start line. Cause it's right here, walk towards the start line. And once I start seeing all the other runners, and maybe that'll give me another jolt of energy and the decision tree will be closer to me just saying the hell with it and then there's you know start running and see what happens and i can always sleep later so anyway uh <laughs> we may or may not see you after 13.1 miles so uh we'll see you after the run maybe Still sick, but uh, anyway, there's the sun behind me. Let's see, glaring. It's like windy, windy, windy. It's actually kind of cold, too. I'm walking 
to the start line, which it's probably like a mile, mile and a half uh, to get there. But I think it's like seven o'clock. I don't know, man. It's really cold, windy. I feel like crap. But uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> At least get to the start line. So we may or may not see you after 13.1 miles. So. I don't know, it's gonna be hard. All right, I'm here at the uh, half marathon and uh, got people warming up, got some music right behind me back there. If you can see it, it's the uh, start line. And then hopefully over here, right behind me there is the finish line. So I think it's kind of nice just to run from there to there. <laughs> it's like a block. <laughs> But I think you go the opposite direction, uh, and then there's 13.1 miles in between. So I'm not sure which direction. I kind of hope it's the one blocker, but I, I don't think it is. So otherwise, there wouldn't be so many people here. Anyway, uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys after the run. All right, half marathon complete. I got my uh, my finisher little medal here. And uh, was it easy or was it hard? <laughs> Well, uh, in reality, I mean, if I have to be like, completely honest, it was not hard. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy, but it's mostly just like uncomfortable because the wind's blowing like 90 miles an hour, kind of cold. So it's mostly just kind of uncomfortable, but once I started, I, I literally did not stop uh, moving my feet forward uh, until I was done. So I almost got a PR. Um, it was a couple minutes off bad um, obviously I feel pretty good right now but as soon as I get back to my apartment I'm gonna feel uh, probably pretty pretty bad because I'm still sick so all that sickness will start coming back and then uh, by the afternoon I'll be passed out uh, sleeping probably but uh, anyway it got me to thinking about uh, I was tweeting with this one guy He's, he does like uh, I don't know, those ultra marathons and uh, he put a he was saying something in a little verbiage or whatever, and it reminded me of a quote of mine uh, called the, the pain of discipline is less than the pain of regret. The pain of discipline is less than the pain of regret. And I don't know, that just stuck with me this morning when I was, when I was thinking of, all right, am I gonna regret not doing this? And, and kinda, you know, it being Friday afternoon or Saturday or Sunday going, man, I should've ran that thing. Uh, so I don't regret it now. Um, and I'm, I'm happy. I got, I got my little finisher thing here and, you know, one less thing. So uh, sometimes you just got to help yourself make those decisions. I mean, I, I really was at decision points <laughs> today because I, I was like on my phone about ready to order some food and go to sleep. And, and then I just, uh, at the very last minute, jumped in the shower. And, and next thing you know, I started hitting all my cues. Then I hit my routine, and now I got my reward, which is what habits are all about, right? Cue, routine, reward. Cue, routine, reward. If you can continue to build yourself uh, with those three things on any kind of habit that you desire, um, it'll get you there. So anyway, I'm gonna head back up, take a shower, and uh, now I'm gonna get some food, and uh, I'll probably be asleep within the hour. So good luck on your day, whatever's out there. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.